The first set of videos in this tutorial series on probability fallacies was on reasoning about probabilities and coincidences. In this second set of videos, we're going to focus on the gambler's fallacy. This is a well-known fallacy of probabilistic reasoning, and it's connected in various ways to a variety of topics that are at the heart of probability and decision theory. So my goal in this series is to use the gambler's fallacy as a case study and sometimes as an excuse to talk about some important foundational concepts for critical thinking about chance and uncertainty. Hence the subtitle, Bias, Randomness, and the Illusion of Control. Here's a list of videos in the series. The first video, titled The Basic Fallacy, gives an introduction to the gambler's fallacy and identifies the inferential mistake that people make when they commit it. The second video, Fairness, Bias, and Independence, goes deeper into the concept of a fair chance setup. In this video, I draw the important distinction between an unbiased set of outcomes and an independent set of outcomes, and look at different ways that a chance setup can be unfair. In the third video, how can you tell whether a chance setup is unfair? I make the point that neither logic nor probability theory by itself can answer this question for us. In the fourth video, The Physics of Coin Tosses, I take a closer look at the question of how probability judgments might make sense in a deterministic universe. This is important to understand because on the one hand, the coin toss is an icon of a random process. But from a physical point of view, it's actually a highly deterministic process. So on the face of it, there's a tension between these two perspectives. In this video, I try to resolve that tension. In the fifth video, Casino Games, Why the House Always Wins, I ask whether casino games ever give you a fair bet. The answer is no, they don't. And this is something that every person who gambles should understand. But to get to this conclusion, we have to first understand what a fair bet is. And so in this video, I walk through some basic decision theory to show how the expected value of a bet can be calculated and talk about how casino games ensure that the expected value of a bet is always in their favor. And finally, in the last video on cognitive factors and the psychology of gambling, I wanted to show how the gambler's fallacy relates to other probability fallacies that influence gambling behavior, and how these probability fallacies in turn relate to the broader class of so-called cognitive factors that psychologists study when they study gambling. Now this gets us into the psychology of problem gambling, and I say a few words about how all of this material bears on the question of how to understand and treat problem gambling.